Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today it is Whiskey Grab. It is Whiskey Grab of all Whiskey Grabs because it's the Derby Whiskey Grab. Yeah, Derby Whiskey Grab. And if you saw our live stream, then you know that I talked this up a whole lot. So He did. Hopefully it meets expectations. <laughs> I, if it doesn't, then I don't know what your expectations are. Don't so. know what you want. Uh, but while you're here, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit that notifications button because he swears up now it's important. Yeah, it is. Like, Chat, let I, you know when we when we post a video. And all I want to see if it's important or not. So just go ahead and hit it. Yeah, do and it. And let us know. And we'll go from there. All right. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start. Um, what do I want to start with? I will say... We've only mapped this out already. We have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, 1792, age 12 year. And he's going to match those with the, that. Now, full disclosure... I got the sweet weed as well, but I traded it for something that is in my stack later, so we'll talk about it. And I think you it. traded up. I did trade up, for I, sure. I, I think you traded up. For sure. So, uh, for everybody who's not aware, the 1792 12 year and sweet weed only get to release basically once a year. Yeah. Um, and, and this is the time of year that it's yeah. released. And it, drops, and it dropped hardcore in the last... Uh, oh, yeah. Year. I mean, at one point in time, like, I feel like you could just... Um, and I, this sounds terrible, but I feel like you just walk in almost any store at one yep. point in time and just find it. So, for sure. They're both really good. I think they're the two best out of the 1792s. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with that. Um, I've not had the Ridgewood, um, whatever, but that's a really, really special release. So, well, I mean, other than that, just old. yeah. But the 12 year, I think, is better than the Sweet Wave. I, I agree most, with but, you on that. But yeah, so. so these were the time of year yeah. it was released. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right for the next one, yeah. which is the. And we got two different, two different bottles. Yeah. So the old Forester, we got some old Forester barrel strength bourbons over uh, the last month. Now mine is a Chris Pick from Kroger, Chris Pick Fork, and you got a Women of Whiskey. Women of Whiskey 2021. Uh, full disclosure, I got this for my sweet wheat. Yeah. So, so both. I'm of, looking forward to open this as well. Yeah, both. Of, I've had I've had the three and the two from Chris's Pick from Kroger, and yeah. I thought they were both really super solid. So I'm looking forward to. It. I love old Forester barrel oh, strengths. Like listen. they're just. To me, they're money. They I know. Are. I know. Some people say they're a little hot. Let it open up for a minute. Yeah. Kind of give it a yeah. You know, so good though. Um, most of the time, you can't go wrong with those. No, not at all. Yeah, I totally agree. Yep. So perfect. All right. Um, I am gonna go with uh, let's go the Jack Daniels Triple Mash. Such a great bottle. Yeah, we reviewed it. Uh, of the two that we reviewed. Uh, his was bonded. Mine was triple mash, mm -hmm. uh, and the ones we, uh, the ones we blinded, we were both bonded. We were. We were both sure. bonded. So uh, the triple mash, I got this uh, again at retail. This is supposed to be uh, one of the two. Uh, these aren't going to be allocated. These are going to be uh, readily available. So yeah, we hope, don't don't pay yeah. secondary for Yeah, these. don't pay secondary. Give, it, give for it a minute. These things are. But I'm telling you guys, for thirty something bucks, these bottles. Yeah, so good. Are crazy. Yep. So good. Okay. So, next bottle I'm going to share. The old Rock Hill Farms. So, I actually thought, this came out like last week. Actually, I thought I missed all these. And I was just lucky to be able to stumble into one at a local liquor store. And these things, I haven't seen like two years. Yeah, they're so, hard to find. That yeah, for they sure. are. They are for us in this area. I mean, they're hard to find for everybody. I get that. Yeah. Um, I was super lucky stumbling into one, getting one. Um, I guess that means at some point in time we'll definitely have to do a review over. Yeah, it. for sure. Um, but you know, it's what's hilarious is is like the amount of chase that goes after these, and then most of them are safe for lotteries and stuff like that. Yep. And it's just again. Dumb luck. I was able to stumble in one. Yeah, 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 dumb, dumb luck. All right, so my second, we talked about Triple Mash. Uh, my third is The Bonded. Uh, this is so good that I actually bought a second one of these you this did. month. And so I have actually bought two of these this month. They're both actually open because I had to leave this bottle here at Zach's house for him to take pictures. And he uh, couldn't wait a couple weeks. And I couldn't wait a couple weeks, so I opened the other one up and, and drank out of that one. So... I've got sure. two 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 bottles open up. Uh, good stuff again. Thirty thirty five bucks. You're you're 
you you want to get this. I think that will be one of the best new releases this year. Yeah. At the end of the year, I, I think it will be up there. Yeah. It top three. Especially for I'm the calling it right now. Especially for the price. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. for sure. All right, my next one on my list. The old president's choice. I think it's barrel. Yes, barrel twenty three. Now, what's crazy about the barrel twenty three? This was actually the lottery. One that Old Forester did online, and I just had just put it in my mind. I'm like, "There's no way I'm going to get one of these." And then my run of having consistent numbers there in a row was just going to be over. And then they put them out there. These are the bottles that were left over from when people didn't come and collect them. And they had about sixty something bottles. And to full transparency, I found out about it. I was at work. I wasn't able to go. My wife went down and picked one up for me. Listen, it's good to have a good wife. It's good to have a good wife. And and she was super great and awesome about it. And I know at some point in time I'll have to pay that forward. Yeah. And so, yeah. it. What I will say, though, I do feel a little bit bad about because I forgot to text my boy Dave. Now, normally it wouldn't matter because he lives about 30, 40 minutes away. Hey, Dave, whenever this release was going on, where were you at? I was like... Five minutes from it. I feel terrible. Yeah. Like, I honestly... It's I not, promise, his, it's I, I not promise, his fault. It happens. Yeah, I almost still. even... I, I, I told him, I even thought, like, to myself, like, you're coming down this way, just stop by Old Forester, just by happenstance. And I didn't, because I was doing an electrical job, and I missed it. I know. It, I feel bad about it's it. Thing. All right. So, my next one is, uh, Gentleman yeah. Jack. <laughs> it is what it is. Stop. It is what it is. Um, I actually love Gentleman Jack as a mixer. Um, it's a good little sipper, yeah, too. Yeah, it's a good little sipper. A little nice loafer um, sipper. Here's what happened. I did an electrical job, and this person said, hey, give, tell them thank you. And so they thanked me with the Gentleman Jack. <laughs> Some people think that Gentleman a Jack true is... gentleman. Yeah. Some people think that Gentleman Jack is the end-all, be-all. Um, we don't happen to think that, but this is fine. It's yeah. it's fine. I, I'll use it. I'll share it with the people that come to my house who need an easy sipper to drink on yeah. uh, or a mixer to drink on. Perfect. So, I, I again, when we do these things, I don't want to just. I don't want you all to just think that all we get is like this allocated stuff, even though what's coming up is ridiculous. Uh, it was but, derby, but we get we get regular stuff too, and so I always want to share that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so the next one, now this actually came after derby. Got an old bullet purple top. So long story short, uh, some of you all will know who's local to Louisville because yeah. there was a little bit, and when I say a little bit, there was a lot of controversy. There was a lot of controversy with this one. Bottom. So this is a seven year. 59.5 proof, uh, and it came from the Trouble Bar release that they had. They had like a dinner and a cocktail hour, and you could buy so many bottles of it. Um, I did not go to that. I did not get tickets for it, but I waited in line for the release. I had no. It was actually a lot of fun waiting in line. Um, some friends I've talked about before on the channel, like Q, my buddy Josh was there. He actually rode with me. Yeah. And some other guys who who I, I hang out with between Breakfast Club and other groups I'm in. And we just had a great time. We had some pours out there waiting in line. It was overall a great time. Afterwards, you know, Trouble Bar said, do not sell these online or we'll report you. Well, some people started selling them online and they started factoring in the number that you have on your bottle. And then, boom, they started just writing people emails and they started writing Willet emails saying, hey, these people are getting caught. And it was a whole big thing. It was a big locally. mess. Um so yeah, but my point is trouble bar. I still got mine. Still got my release. One forty five, one ninety eight. That's Zach Raymer. That's me. I'm yep, good. There you go. So all right. Uh, okay. So my next one is uh, a Woodford Double Oak. It's a zo Zombie Land Double Oak. It's a store pick, a LBC Kroger Tyler Center uh, pick. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one that I missed because I was on vacation. One of my 37 vacations, he likes to think that I yes, like so go on. It's nuts. Um, I missed it, and then uh, right during Derby Week, they were rele they released a bunch of a bunch of extra ones. So mm -hmm. I, I picked one up. So super stoked that I could get this. Um, this is like uh, the third or fourth double oak store pick or barrel pick that I have. 
Uh, I'm going to do a blind one day uh, to see which one I like the best. So you can't ever have too many double oaks. No, you can't. All right. So my next one. This is when this is when Dave starts giving me crap. Uh, so old rip tenure. Uh, so this was actually again this I think I yeah I got this bottle on Oaks. Uh, randomly showed up to a liquor store. We were waiting in line, me and a, my buddy Brian. And when we were waiting there, we were just like, man, you know, maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't. And there's about, I think about, I think we were 11 and 12 in line. Yeah. And we're like, and we'll probably miss on whatever it is. Cause they've just had a couple little yeah. things here and there, nothing crazy. And then another buddy of ours, Nick, he shows up right behind us and we're sitting there talking and all of a sudden somebody's like, Hey man, they're running out of Cardiff stuff. And we walk up there, and well, all of a sudden you see a Michter's twenty, and boxes of King of Kentucky, and boxes of Old Rip, and some Lot B's, and some Elmer, and some you know Handy, and it was amazing. Like they had, it was one of the best releases I have been to. And where was that at? That was over at Cox's uh, Middletown. Yeah, and it was one of the best releases I've been to, and they haven't done anything like that ever. To my like, they, they haven't done anything yeah. like that in years, and I think just randomly they were like, you know what, for Oaks, we're just gonna shell let's, out. Let's just shell it out. Let's and, just and put it we're out. We're just gonna say, you know what, thank you guys. You guys lined up. Yeah. And the cool thing is, like, all the people in front of us, they were all there. They're all kind of regulars. We're all kind of regulars of of that liquor store chain, and everybody was super cool. And I knew most of the guys in front who got the. Who, I know the guy who got the M twenty. I know the guys who got the Kings. And they're all super cool people. Yeah, like yeah, very great for sure. So, uh, my next is actually going to be two. Um, it is. Oh, you all know my love for Four Roses. I got one of those too. He did get one of those. <laughs> I got two of them. Two to his one. Yeah. Um, but uh, these were both different places. This is uh, one of them was the Coxes, uh, and then. I don't, I'm looking at it. That's the Cox's. Is mm. this the Cox's? No, this is actually the distillery release uh, of the um, OESK. It's a tier six. Okay. This is an OESK tier five oh. that mm -hmm. I got from Liquor Barn. Shout out to Liquor Barn. Uh, we we love Liquor Barn, Total Wine. We love all those places. Mm. They, do, they do really good stuff. And Cox's, all the same. Uh, so we got these. You all know my love for... Uh, Four Rows of Single Barrel, Barrel yep. Strength, uh, I, I love it. I love almost all of them. I've not really met a Barrel Strength that I didn't like from not Four well, Roses, so well, really uh, we love them. Always pick them up if you get a chance. Yeah, and this one, I, I think you got yours after Derby. Mine came, this, this was one of the Derby releases. Yeah, both of mine came after so, Derby, yeah. yeah, for sure. All right, now, my next one. I got a... Van Winkle, Lot B. And I don't know if this, you remember what his last one was that he he pulled out. It was an old rip. So just there you go. So, um, you know, a lot of liquor stores, I got this on Derby, and a lot of liquor stores will do either releases or they will do kind of like allocation dumps for some regulars and stuff like that. And the cool thing is there's a store I go to a lot and all of the regulars, we're all buddies. Like we're all really good friends yeah. and we all kind of, it, it kind of goes in like a little bit of a rotation on who gets tier. what, when, when, it, it, yeah. It, it, within yeah. reason. Yes. Hey, you got this the last time. Yeah. With, within be. reason. Yeah. And so I got this, this, this time and I'm super grateful. It's super cool. Uh, I do look forward. We're going to review it at some point in time. Yeah. We just haven't done it yet. Yeah. And so I do look forward to that. And it's just super cool that stores locally for Derby, you know, one of the things is with that President's Choice, we thought that would come out during Derby. And it did. Yeah. And there was a lot of out-of-towners that missed out on that. Yeah. And they, some of you all watch, and some of the guys from Chicago Police Comics, you guys were super cool and super nice, and you guys know. Uh, but it is, you know, Derby is a huge event around here locally for us and it's super cool seeing stores yep. take part of it. So really true. Appreciate it. Yep. So true. Uh, and my actual last one uh, was an Angel en Angels Envy Rye, uh, and you all know me if you've watched the channel at all. I'm not a huge rye guy, but 
I, I've heard nothing but good things about Angel's Envy Rye, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm anxiously going to open this. Uh, I got this from a friend. Uh, I didn't buy it at a store or anything like that. This was a gift from a friend. Uh, even Very though, nice gift. Yeah. Even nice. even though you we call whiskey rab, whiskey rab is sometimes a gift. So oh yeah, no, um, no, no, no. Uh, I did some electrical work for him, and this was what he gifted me with. And so I'm I'm really anxious to open it up and uh, taste it and see if Angel's Henry Rye is any better than some of the other ryes that we deal with. Sure. So, yep. Cheers, Fred. <sighs> All right, then my last one. Just gonna throw us out here, King Kentucky. Like you even had to do anything. You could have left it in the box. I didn't want anybody to assume knows. that was just an empty tube. King Kentucky, twenty twenty one. Um, again, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Derby. It's the best time to hunt for in Kentucky. It's not even close. Can I pull this thing and open it? If you do, <laughs> if you do. Mm. Uh, I, I cannot express there are certain times a year to hunt in Kentucky for allocation and stuff like that. Derby's number one. It is close. Derby. Derby it, is number it's one. It's Derby. It is long days of hunting, uh, which I, you know, I, I was off and I was working night shift and I would leave work and, yeah. and go wait in line and go do all this stuff. But you put in a little work, you go and wait in line a little bit, yeah. share a couple pours here and there, you can get some really great stuff. Yeah. Um, and this was the, this was the beauty, the creme de la creme. This is the of, I'm of, not worthy. I'm not worthy of my uh, derby honey. Right. So for sure. Well, put it back in the in the case. <laughs> we don't want to see it. Hey, listen. Tell us what your uh, May was like. What you got? What you didn't get? What you felt like you wanted to get? Yeah. Um, we love we love to see it. I don't care if it's alloc or not. Listen, I, I, I put a gentleman jack up on here, <laughs> and there's nothing special about that. So. No, but I mean, if you like it, you like it. Yeah, you like it, you like it. I'm just saying, like, there's nothing special about it. Yeah. Like, uh, our our month was very contrasted in special and not special. But this also goes to highlight, though, if you really, which you were busier than me during Derby. Yeah, I, which is I totally really was. This, he, he, this, this month has been crazy busy yes. for me. But if you can get availability to go and hunt in May in Derby, yeah, you can do beautiful things. Yeah, you can do beautiful things. So. Well... Uh, all right, till the next time, we'll see you. See you.